Hi guys, it's Annette here. Today I'm going to show you the secret step to tripling your profits as a fashion designer and when you own your own fashion line how you can actually double or triple um, the amount of profit that you earn on every sale. So every item of clothing. When you're wholesale selling your item you only get 50% of the retail price. So I'm going to show you how you can triple that price. So. The secret is to launch your own online store and I'll show you the maths in a moment and why it works but online shopping and online fashion boutiques are really hot right now and it's a growth industry. More and more people are actually buying clothing and accessories online. So here are the, some of the main um, largest uh, online online boutiques. So you have netaporter.com. That's probably the first online boutique that was ever established. Um, so here's just some indication of online sales success. Forrester Research predicts Australian online spending will grow to 32 billion by 2012. And if you're in the United Kingdom, the amount is about 10 times this amount. And if you're in the United States, it's also around 10 times this amount. So it's some huge, huge sales there. 45% of all online retail sales are currently going offshore from Australia. So if you are in Australia, it's because <laughs> Australians don't have very good online stores at all. So they're winning, uh, Australians are buying from online stores in the UK and United States. So if you happen to be in the United States or United Kingdom, this is a niche market for you. You could have your own online store selling your own fashion label and directly target not only people in your own country, but other countries. So all of a sudden you're taking your label to a global scale. International fashion retailers are actively pursuing Australian consumers. ASOS.com listed Australia as its fourth strongest international market and Netta Porter also lists Australia as one of its biggest international markets. So Netta Porter also is really, really huge in the United Kingdom and US. Um, so even if you could get your labels stocked um, on Netta Porter, that would be fantastic. So here's a success story just to show you what an online store can do. So Netta Porter was founded by Natalie um, over 10 years ago and it now has over a thousand purchases per day. It's currently valued at $355 million. That's just the online business. So if you can imagine a thousand purchases per day, that is absolutely huge. So if you designed your own online boutique, stocking your own fashion line, this is at the top end of the market, but it shows that it's a growth industry. So a really great um, idea to get into. So some of the success of Netta Porter is that it's it has unique packaging and it also includes fashion reporting and really great customer service. So if you're going to start your own online store to sell your fashion label, I recommend that you think about the packaging. Um, also think about what else you can offer on the website. So are you going to give your customers top tips on how to wear the items or the latest catwalk trends, all of that kind of thing. Here's another ace, um, another success story. This is ASOS. So in June 2010, ASOS reported 20.3 million pounds profit on sales, a figure that is expected to rise by 60% this year. And this is a UK-based online store. So that is massive figures. It just shows you more and more people are willing to spend money online. Witchery, for example, this is an Australian online retailer, they list their online store as its fourth most profitable outlet out of 80 stores nationally. So you can see many traditional retailers are now moving online. So it's a really big trend. Mimco, which does luxury leather accessories, ranks its online store as its 10th most successful store with turnover of about $90,000 a month. That's huge. 
So guys, I've got some good news. Launching your own online store is easier than you think and it shouldn't cost you thousands of dollars. So here's my hot tips for launching an online store. You want to build a website for your label. You want to plug in an online store or shopping cart to that uh, website. Offer PayPal and market it on Facebook. So I've already taught you how to set up your own Facebook page for your fashion line. So you want to market it on Facebook to all of your fans that can shop online. Uh, you can also promote it for your own blog or other fashion blogs and you can offer an affiliate commission. So here's just an example of how you can actually build your own online store and I've built a few myself so it is a lot easier than you think and even if you're going to um, I guess outsource it if you know these steps or well, then you'll know that and tell your web developer to follow these steps then you won't get ripped off. So the first thing you want to do is register a domain name. So um, GoDaddy or Crazy Domains um, does some really great domain names for like as low as $12. So that's all it should cost you to register. Then you want to buy hosting. So when you register a domain name, that's like your website name. So you could call it belladesigns.com. And then what you need to do is attach that web um, name to some hosting. So the hosting is like where you keep all the files. Then I would recommend that you build the website. And there's many different ways um, and types of websites that you can build. So I recommend that you build a WordPress platform. So WordPress is like a... Um, it's called an app, but it's also a, um, a blog platform and it's really, really great because it actually helps um, Google um, determine your uh, fashion website and also helps it rank. It's also free <laughs> and more and more uh, web developers are using WordPress, so it's universally accepted and known. Then um, you can plug in a WordPress shopping cart and this also can cost less than $100 if not free. And then you customize it. So the great thing about the WordPress platform is you can choose from a whole heap of different templates. You can choose the colors, the layout, the theme, the headings, all of that. So here's some top shopping cart plugins. There is PayVement, which is the Facebook app, which is free, and that plugs in straight to your Facebook page. Or there's WordPress e-commerce, which is a WordPress plugin. Simple PayPal Shopping Cart, which is also a WordPress plugin. And eShop, as well as ShopperPress. So these are some really great, um, they cost less than $100 to implement into your WordPress website and you can literally um, add in your styles um, yourself. So you can save thousands doing it this way. Um, and here's the math behind it. This is why you can triple your profit with your own online store. So for the wedding dress, I'll use a wedding dress as an example. Before when we were wholesaling to a bridal boutique, you're only getting 25% of the retail price. So recommended retail 9995, you made $249. This is because you would sell um, a wedding dress to an online, like to a fashion boutique for $995. You'd sell it for $500, but it might cost you half, like half of that $500 might be in your cost from your manufacturer. So you might only make $250. So, and then the retailer was making $500. So when you have your own online store, you now make the retail margin plus what you would normally earn if you were selling to a fashion boutique. So all of a sudden you're making $497 plus $249. So you're tripling your profit. So if you are selling to a boutique, they're taking a cut. They're taking like 
$500 out of $1,000 just for their staff wages, their rent, um, all of that because they need to make a profit too. But if you had your own online store, you get to take that profit. So all of a sudden it can boost your bottom line and boost the amount of profit you earn um, per style. So if you were to sell 10 wedding dresses, you would make $7,472. If you were to sell 100 dresses, you'd make 74720 So this is pretty exciting. If your um, fashion label was purely just wedding dresses or um, you know evening dresses at around the $1,000 mark, all you need to do is sell 100 dresses a year, which is like two dresses a week because there's 52 uh, weeks in a year. If you could sell two dresses a week, you'd make 74000 a year. So pretty exciting. That's why um, online fashion sales are really the way of the future.